Welcome back everyone, Hardyman here, back in Prison Architect. Oh, someone, was that a wire? What is that? Huh, I'm not sure what that si like, sign was. That was like a wire symbol? Um, let's see, let me put it back to the sales. And let's do that. Send everyone back to the cells. I gotta, I gotta do a head count here. Let's see, what is this guy? What's he in here for? Found tools. Okay. I need to see. Oh, someone got a shank. What's this guy? Does this guy have a shank and something else? Ah, he has escaped attempt. Huh. Was... I don't know what his escape attempt was, though. I'm very confused. So let's see here. Everybody get back to your cells. Stop being all crazy. That this is this is a horrible place to put this laundry basket, people. Okay, so what is did did someone actually escape? No, we still have days without interest in, so is like superb. Okay, so I'm assuming someone just well we did have one guy uh, leaving I think so. Hopefully that that's why we lost a guy and, and we don't have someone like tunneling out right now. Let's see, we have We have no meals being cooked because I guess we're still on that whatever two or one meal for two days. Wait, no, it's one meal Wait. Did I read that wrong? I might have read that wrong. I think did are we we were only supposed to feed them once in a two day span. Oh Possibly. Cause we're thirty one percent complete with it. So are we not supposed to feed them, like, tomorrow? Is that how this works? Hmm. I guess we'll see. Because I am now second-guessing myself on what that actually means. But I guess we'll, yeah, I guess we'll see whenever it comes around. All these guys in here want food, though. You ain't gonna get it. Yeah, his is like capital letters food. This guy, his is capital letters food as well. Apparently they all, well he, he's, he's on the brink I guess. But these guys totally want the food. Okay, so our money has gone back up. It was like, a, like 2,000. So we are now increasing the money that we have uh, per day. So that's good. Just need to get, hopefully, this nutrition research stuff done. Oh, 33%. There we go. So we are doing something correct here. Although, I guess if we do serve that other meal and they don't want us to serve that meal, then we go back to zero. Hmm. Okay, serve a single low quantity, low variety meal for two days. I don't know. I'm going to go with what I, I, I think it is. If it's wrong, we can uh, we can go back and do it again the other, yeah, another time. I'm, I'm going to dump all this stuff. I don't know what... Wait, search cell? Uh, wait, what? Search cell block. 
search cell search dump are am i missing something is there an entire cell block inside of this like pot or what does that actually mean i'm gonna search this the cell block inside of oh it's just everything inside of that room Oh, well, that's the cell, I guess. Figure out what, why it's in there. Taste it a little bit as well. If you die, I know I'll probably need to, like, you know, get it out. Anyone die? Huh? No one? Um, uh, just dump all this stuff for real, though. I don't know why they, they wanted to cook it. I'm assuming this is from our... Someone has... Syringe. I'm assuming this is from whenever we were taking out these other, like, kitchens. I, that's what I can only assume. And they just, like, instead of throwing away the food, they're like, eh, we'll take it and put it at room temperature for a couple days. We'll store that in there. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Besides possibly molding and like, you know, infecting our entire prison with like horrible, horrible strains of mold. That's basically what it probably would have done. Did, wait. Can you get stuff out of there? I'm pretty sure you can, can't you? Yeah. That's probably where the guy got the needle from. Yeah, we need to set this up as, um, staff only. We, we really need to keep that, because, let's see, they're going to have to get in to the cleaning cupboards for cleaning supplies, so I can't, like, kick them out of there. Uh, I cannot, like, kick them out of the workshop, because they have to actually work in there, so... That's why I put up these metal detectors so that some of the stuff that they have will get found. Uh, well, most of the stuff. They only don't. The only thing that wouldn't set off those is a wooden pickaxe. I'm pretty sure. Um, they're already locked out of there. Uh, no one is in there. Although, do we have it set? No, we don't. Set that to staff only for right now. Uh, because that's probably where that dude got a knife, uh, possibly a fork. Although I assume that you can get those in here as well, but apparently not. Apparently you, they're just eating with their hands. I mean, that that's, that's what I can only assume from that contraband menu. Uh, they already aren't allowed inside of our staff rooms. And I guess the only other place is... The visitation. So we have most places like secure. It's just places that they frequent workshop, visitation, uh, cleaning cupboards that they could actually get stuff. So hopefully that cuts down on the supply side stuff. But I mean, this this is definitely not cutting down on the supply side. So. Uh, hopefully no one tries to escape today, or tonight. It'll be very, very sad. So, please do not try to escape today. So, let's see here. We have eight hours before we get ten new guys. Anyone leaving? Anyone getting released? Eh, it doesn't seem like it. Found a spoon in the sheet metal. I mean, that's where I keep my all, all of my spoons. I just keep a big old stack of sheet metal and just tuck them right in between the layers. Totally better than, like, uh, putting them in a silverware drawer. Uh, easier to get to every, every time I need some. No, it's not, people. Golly. So we're at 45%. I'm assuming, well, I guess that could be... 
I guess that could be for the entire thing, though. But I don't know if that's for that specific thing to be checked off. It's 45% done, or if that's for the entire grant. I guess we'll see. Not making that much money. Lost $13 right there. It's interesting that we, we actually went up, too. Yeah. This has gone up by a thousand dollars. So I guess adding those two machines is actually improving that. And I mean after three days worth of them working there, they they would have paid it off. So I guess that's a pretty good investment. Hopefully, you know, into the future they'll be able to do that. Let's uh reschedule some of these programs. Wait, all rooms, staff only. Wait, all rooms, staff only. So they have to be in there for the, I guess they have to be in there for the cooking class. But does anyone actually want to take the cooking class? There's, there's 10 people interested in it. Well, dang it. Uh, share it, fine. Reschedule. Now what what is this? Where does it take place at? In the infirmary? So that's how they're getting syringes. Uh Golly, I guess I I guess I would rather them be getting over their addictions. Well that's that's kinda counterintuitive, right? You, you take them to the the place where they could get, like they're like right next to the stuff that they're addicted to. That's like really cruel actually. It's like, oh, you want this crack okay and it's right here, but you can't have it. Although then you turn your back and they, they swipe it. Uh, seems totally like different. That, you think that that would be inside like the common room sit down with, uh, I don't know, like the psychologist or something and get through that, but apparently no, they just, you know, tempt them and that's probably how those guys got attacked that one time. Golly. Anyway, let's see. We're coming up on food time, right? And it's a couple hours away, so... Uh, I don't know if I want to, I don't know if I want to stop it or, okay, I have a plan. I'm going to, I'm going to change this to free time, and if this gets, you know, if it keeps going past that, I'm going to not feed them today. And we'll, you know, try to see if that works. If that works, then we're good. And we can go with the, the three, the, is it three meals? Yeah, three meals. And do that one the same way. We'll give them three meals over two days. See, they already put out food, though. Hmm, that could be bad. I hope that food has something in it. But, yeah. Well, I guess I'll try to keep an eye on that. Oh, multiple boxes of food have stuff in them. Or possibly. I don't know. What do you find? What do you find? Hammer. Shears. Interesting. So we I, we need to really like contact the our food provider and tell them that they have someone like working for these guys like in their like shipping department at least because I'm assuming that they have some type of like metal detector and these boxes are totally getting by it. Also the like whoever's shipping them. 
also not doing that great of a job. Okay, we're stuck at 52%. It had been going up, like, steadily. But now it's kind of stalled out. So we're gonna ha we're gonna be able to house seven of those ten that are coming in. I think I'm going to put where is it beds? I'm gonna put beds in the holding cell and kind of just hope that they'll use it. Like the three guys who are just gonna be stuck in here will hopefully just use it and you know, be happily, like, hit live happily ever after in this holding cell until we have enough room to, you know, actually give them a proper cell. Because I'm pretty sure, I'm, isn't privacy? Where is their needs? Privacy. Yeah, privacy is one of their needs. So those three guys are going to start, you know, having some privacy issues, I'm, I'm assuming. But... I mean, I I cannot spend the money to do an entire cell block right at this moment. So that's probably the easiest option for us. And I mean, it, it, it kind of future-proofs us for a little bit as well, so. And less than an hour. I'll stop the flow of them right after they, uh, you know, arrive. Come on, 30 minutes. See, Justin Bieber's still here? He's still here. He hasn't, like, escaped or anything. Let's see. 13 minutes. Come on. Ding. Let's see how much we actually get for these 10 guys as well. We're at 3,600 right now. So we got 600 bucks for 10 guys. Huh. Okay. Good to know. And we got eight more coming in. And I can't do that right now, so. Too bad, so sad. Okay, dump them off and put them in their cells and holding areas. Anyone we know. Eh. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think we know any of these guys, so that's pretty cool. Got got more new faces. Although we, eh, do we have enough showers, like shower heads for all these guys? I don't even know. That guy's just freaking out on that phone. That's that was weird. Let's see. We have not. Like we, like we are not continuing on with that. So I'm assuming that it has something to do with food. So let's have them eat right there, and we'll set this back to eating as well. And hopefully it goes back up. Well, I guess we'll see. Oh, yep, now they're scrambling to get food. Is it actually going to go back up? We'll see in about 20 minutes. Oh, didn't want to click on you. Sorry, guy. Why am I clicking on him? Interesting. Oh, something's happening. Oh. Someone just got tased. Was Justin Bieber? Uh, no. James Underwood. Tased. That's a that's apparently a plus for him. Oh, now it's going down. Dang. Apparently he's really happy about that. Oh, found some forks. Man, someone's getting tased all like a lot. Where where is this all happening at?
I'm missing all the action, apparently. I guess they tased. Yep, yeah, they tased both those guys. So we're going to search his cell for, I guess, weapons. See what he's got. Yeah, apparently he's got nothing. See. So, apparently a lot of people have serious complaints. I'm assuming it's food. Eh, it's mainly food. Are we actually going up anymore? No. Uh, then I don't know what we got we have to do about that. Uh, and I think that will be it for this episode as well. Uh yeah. I don't know, it's it's stalled at fifty two percent for some reason. Wait, does it say? Yeah, doesn't really, you know, say anything about that. So, okay, I guess we're, we'll try to figure that out next time, guys. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed. It's it's a very complicated game. This is, and we'll we'll have to figure that out, and hopefully not have a riot. I mean, everyone was getting tased like that last bit. I heard tasers going off left and right. Oh, and they even broke the metal detector. Good night. We may need to spend some more money on some guards. Because... Oh, because that's going to cost us money to repair all the stuff that they're beating up. Uh, golly, prisoners. Why can't you just be nice to each other and my property? Anyway, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments, leave those below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel... You may want to do that. But I think I'll talk to you next time. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.